but I can't see if you're right here next to me. Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess, and you tell me to confess, and you tell me to confess. Oh. Hey guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Well, guys, I just wanted to show you this long awaited bedroom tour i'm not gonna do a big intro and i'm sorry you're not seeing me today but i just want to get to the point and show you this bedroom that i finally did and sorry it took so long but guys you know most of this stuff is ikea and you know there was a long list a waiting list for these things a lot of things were out of stock so i just want to go around the room and just show you what the bedroom looks like i'm really liking it it's really cute little feminine you know very girly you know i always wanted a not a princess bed but a queen bed so i thought this was really nice and i showed you before um the bed and i work course link it this is a comfort bed i comfort and as you see it comes with the adjustable bed frame so i'm going to go around the room at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I put some of these things together because I just want you guys just to see the tour. If anyone interested on how I did things and some DIYs I've done, I will link it from previous videos in the description box. But, you know, guys, it started over here, um, my pack system. And you know, guys, remember this pack system? You saw the DIY on this. It was black, okay? And I couldn't find the white one. So, of course, I had to paint it. And uh, it came out really nice. Labeled everything with my Cricut. And, um, and decided now what I wanted to do here, as you can see, I decided to hang up my brushes. So, guys, I got the new Laura Lee. Uh, brushes I thought that was really cute and I like how I sort of just labeled everything and I also decided to do the same with Morphe okay so I figured why leave Fenty Beauty behind you know because that's my girl Rihanna you know we all love our Fenty so I have my lip glosses here um, some things I forgot to show you before this clock was one of my first DIYs there is a link at the bottom in the description on how to make one of these if you want to it's basically a box with mirror and um, the hands are from Amazon this vanity I'm sorry my vanity lights I decided to do myself there is also a video on that and I use a medicine cabinet here and box it in the medicine cabinet I got from Lowe's. Okay, now for the vanity top, it's just a board guide. It's a linen, I believe it's pronounced. It was only $8.99. So I wanted to, you know, spruce it up a little bit. So what I did, I just add the wallpaper from Amazon and glass from, you know, this my famous company here in Las Vegas, Academy Glass. They do all my glass work for me. So of course it's on top of the Alex. So it's just laying on top, nothing is mounted. And I already had these legs. So these legs again are attached here. So it's sort of like a, a three piece, or I should say a four piece, because it is two leg system. So it's not one particular unit. Um, I did have a subscriber ask me about that. Okay guys, now you know I did a DIY on this. I'm not gonna go through the whole each detail of this pack system, um, but I want you to see here, I just did this. I had this um, shuttle box previously and I had inside of it my Sephora box. So I took it out and I seen this on one of the Etsy, so I'm not gonna take credit for this. And it says B U to four. So no, it's not to misspell, this is how it's spelled. So I de decided to do that with my, you know, my Cricut myself. Okay, here's the jewelry. And here's the things that was I get was in my closet. I decided to bring out here so I can display it in a small space. It's not everything, just a few pieces. Okay, again, you know, I hold, you know, my jewelry stuff here. I showed you this in the drawers. And also, we already went through my foundations. I'm adding my Charlotte Tilbury foundation to the collection. Um, here is the palette, and here is, we finally fixed it. It says lippies, not ippies. Okay, so this is the rest of my pack system here. And I just like this room. It's a separate, and this is a very, very small bedroom. So this is how I can take my bedroom in a small space because I wanted everything I want from glam side to entertainment to sort of like a nice spa like bed, a resort style bed and a little bit of storage. So this is the best life I came up with in a short 
amount of space now coming over here is my bed so yes this is a new bed here and this is from iComfort and I got it from mattress firm here in Las Vegas but they do sell it online mattressfirm.com um, also it comes as you see with the adjustable frame here um, I think it's, I just needed this because I was just having so many back problems. I needed something to elevate me at night. And the frame actually came with the purchase of the bed. It's a basic frame, but hey, it came free. Over here, remember I hauled this bed spread white. And I know a lot of you guys is doing fall now, but it is still 104 degrees here. And this is not even the end of August tomorrow is the last day and it's still 104 degrees so I cannot have quilts on my bed I will sweat and also I wanted to show you how I painted my bed so you know it was getting a little faded and I will show you um, briefly how I painted this because it was more of a tan color and I wanted this to be a little more clean and a white so I think this came out really nice um, again, just practicing how to do paint. I think I need, I can see one more coating, but what happened was they delivered the frame and the bed, so I just had to go with that. But you can see here, it's very nice how it came out. Over here, look at this, and also when I paint, Yes, I paint it over the studs. And what I do is when I paint over the studs, I merely wipe it with a sponge. Okay, so therefore the paint doesn't stick to it. And you know chalk paint is going to wash off anyway. So I didn't go in between. I just paint it directly on, wipe it off immediately. So any of you that are interested in doing a project like this, this is absolutely gorgeous. Blink, look at this. These are curtain tie bags I got from Amazon. I thought these was gorgeous, stunning absolutely beautiful and these are magnets see they snap on and they snap off just like that it's just a magnet I decided to do my swag I told y'all guys before I saw this I um, basically saw this on a YouTube channel I'm like oh my god that was so cute it would go really nice with what I'm going for in my look over here, uh, you see my bedding. My bedding is from Home Goods. I have my Stay A While. I just got this um, from Home Goods the other day. I thought that was really, really cute. I'm sticking with my blues, my, my grays, and of course, you know, my Z Gallery pillows. And then the pillows I hauled from Home Goods as well. So remember over here, this beautiful marble, and I add to, I like to add um, my little tray to it, only because if I don't add a tray, everything will spill over. And you know Sarah, she just gets to knocking things over. So I like to contain things. That's one thing you'll notice with me. No matter how big my furniture in a small space, I like my stuff contained because it still looks neat. Now this carousel here was at home goods, and normally this is for pens, but I figure I put my remotes in here along with my charger station for my watch and my phone. Over here, this is a DIY I did. Again, this is one of those um, DIYs I did a long time ago. I think this was actually my first one um, that I did. So I do have a link to how I did this because someone asked me about that recently. I'm gonna try to redo like the top of this um, it needs some work here because it's getting kind of old. But the only thing I don't want to get rid of this is because I like how I did the detail in the mirrors. See how that I did with the brush stroke. So I like the brush stroke, so I don't want to get rid of this because I really like that I did some hand painting with this detail. But I'm going to change the top somehow. And of course, this lamp is Goodwill. And this is painted as well, the lampshade. Now coming over here, um, you saw me haul this with my shop with me um, at Home Goods when I did my fall decor. I thought these are really, really pretty petals. Um, and these were what half price. I think I spent what $6.95 for them. And of course the vase. And I told you I didn't want anything white. I wanted, I wanted something that was going to pop a contrast. So I think this came out really nice. This blue kind of just pops. This is my jewelry armoire. This was brown. 
Also, I have a video on how I did this. This is resin, it's painted, and these knobs here, these all came from Totally Dazzle. This is the first time I opened this guy since, <laughs> I think, years. It's just costume jewelry in it. I thought it was really, really cute. I just have it just basically for a stand. Now for my curtains, I got these from Ikea. Yes, um, I forgot the name of them. I'll try to link it to you because I know it was on my previous haul. Um, just be careful when you get curtains that these were actually 118 inches, not 98 inches. I was wondering why they were 35 and not 25. And I didn't even remember. I didn't even notice until later. I'm like, oh, they were supposed to be cheaper. And then when I had to cut them, they were so long. So I did cut them and seam them. No sewing, honey. No sewing. Oh, guys, this is it. Now, this is my baby. This is the system I was doing. And as small as my room is, and you see how everything is contained? That was small, guys. Look how everything is contained. And remember, my refrigerator I got from New Air. Now, originally, I had the two cabinets together. And I'll show you. These are the brands from Ikea. And I had them two together, but when I got the call from New Air to do a, you know, a promotion for them, and I'm like, sure. So then I had to figure out, wait, and this is what took me another week. How can I combine a refrigerator in my bedroom? So I had to come up with something. I'm like, okay, I have a limited amount of space, but I think guys, I'm absolutely loving this and spoiled that I have a refrigerator in my bedroom Who now when you do an ikea hat you know you don't want you know ikea furniture sometimes they're gonna look cheesy or you know inexpensive and you know we just hack it so here what i decided to do was take off the original wood poles and just get some silver ones i originally had brass like bronze but because I got the refrigerator, I changed them to chrome. So I like the fact that I could use this for basic storage. And then you can see, again, I add glass shelves to this, my own glass shelves to this one and to this one as well, two of them, because I wanted it really long going across because initially I had my DVD player in there, but now I changed that. So I thought this was for this side. You see how it has a divider? That's how these um, IKEA brands come. But again, guys, you have to be creative. I took it out, okay, because I didn't need the storage, you know. I didn't want it, everything divided, so I kept one original like this. And, of course, I showed you what I did when you take this out um, and then just do one sheet across. And, again, this is a nice way to contain, you know, again, DVD stuff, you know, just external drive stuff receipts bills whatever okay talk about ambience guys yes okay and this is very convenient i have my gatorade zeros in here so when they were separated because i had like just a sheet of glass on top which was really really nice but i figured with the refrigerator oh my god to have it built in guys tell me in a she shed man cave um any type of you know guest room I think this was a really, really cool idea to do a nice IKEA hack on something like this. Something that will make it look built in, but it's not. It slides right out and it has wheels on it. These two could come back together if I didn't want it. But as you can hear, guess what? You can't hear. So this has been in my room the whole time since the last video. Guys, it is quiet. It does not keep me up. And then at night, I just turn the light off and that's all. So then when I separate this, I had to get a board from Home Depot to go straight across from one end to another. And of course, again, my mirror. And this mirror was not expensive at all for him to cut it for me. And that was it. The extra board that was in the middle, I just put it right here. Okay, and of course, I, I'm hiding the hinge here. I just push it back and open the refrigerator door. So it's no big deal. Ikea just be aware these things are out of stock you know in some cities um, it took me sometimes weeks and weeks to get certain pieces and when I got the brands these units right here they had two left 
thank goodness the guy told me they had eight coming in when i got there as soon as they opened i grabbed the two that was it they only had two it was out of stock again but i thought this is really nice especially with the pools like when you switch up anything and you make it more elegant with the pools little things like this again marble paper i'm going to show you briefly how i did this wood marble mirror and that's it I can't wait to do a little fall decor on this. I thought this would be really pretty. Maybe some fog, like some candles and um, some pumpkins probably inside the unit. So I'm basically keeping that empty. The fact that I display, you know, my brushes and some of these content creators, Morphe, Lara Lee, and of course, Fenty Beauty. And I'll show you how I did this. So I have a subscriber asked about that, how I did the font. So I did a little clip and it will be at the end of the video and I'll just show her and you as well the fonts for this and how I just did this quickly. Another shout out I forgot to give was for when I did my makeup tutorial and everything here on this house about beauty. So I just want to thank, you know, for me, encourage me to do my makeup tutorial, my subscriber, BB. You know, she's a Las Vegan and she's a subby. So I appreciate that. And she's a friend along with my baby sister. You'll see her, Emily B. Yes, guys. Okay, guys. So that is my bedroom tour. Um, yeah, I think it's really, really nice. It's very comfortable, quiet, peaceful, everything that I need in a room plus more. I got beautiful sunlight. Um, I think it's very glam for myself. I love this style. It's not over the top. It is, you know, I didn't want it too super blingy on this side. So that's why I kept, um, this side, anything over there is blingy, but oh, it's an elegant touch for me. Um, I really like it again. And um, the ambiance is amazing when I watch TV. If I just want everything just to be just a nice, nice, you know, serene look. So then I just look at that, guys. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? I think it came out really nice. The back glow. Of course, these candles light up and the one over here as well. The refrigerator. along with my pack system and my beauty area. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you briefly my bedroom tour. I hope you like it. I'm hoping you like this. If you do, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Someone might be inspired to do something similar, especially when it comes to Ikea and some ideas for affordable Ikea bedroom set or just decor. All right, guys, it's your more girl. And thanks again for watching the video. I'll see you at the next video. All right, guys, it's more girl.